episode I'm here with the second part on the painting tutorial of the FML Rock Trader from uh, Blackstone Fortress Escalation. Okay, and in this one, in this part, we are going to try to finish the work. So I'm going to go back to the purple and we are going to work on some highlights. So I'm going to use again Jane Stiller purple. Okay, and what we are going to do. We are going to take here and we will try. We will also use the color lilac at the same time. Okay, so these are the two colors the color lilac, just still a purple. And what we are going to do is the next. So I will work on the inside of this. Uh, cloak and we are going to apply first the Jenny Stiller purple and now I will go with the color lilac just next to the decoration to it we will not be able to do all the parts but here the intention is to make more visible the engrave and increase the richness okay, of the purple We work where it's visible, right? In the part where we have difficult access, or it's, or it's difficult to see, we don't need to spend too much time, right? We spend more time on the most visible parts, where will help more on the look of the mini. The color is like that at least too bright for my taste. So this is why I prefer to use first uh, Jenna Stiller purple. But here the, the white went too dark. And this will give this sensation as well of velvet in a way. And you want to do the detail on this cape before any other thing because the, the access is difficult. It is very easy that we touch and stain some other parts. So as the other parts needs to be done later, it's always interesting to start from the most. Always try to do the middle from the most difficult access to the most accessible part. So I mean that the next one going to be the trousers. Okay, and we have this part here where we need to do as well this type of strings there or laces, I don't know how to call it. Okay. We have to 
check when it makes sense to work we keep working on that I'm mainly using I'm using more the Genestealer portfolio than just when when I want to add some accents or some additional highlight I go with the color lilac as you can see here now I'm using the color lilac I hope you can see this because it's quite high and it's difficult to show this in camera here you can see I have did like an edge with the color lilac and now I go back with Genestealer purple and I smooth all these transitions here this part is really the most difficult to show in camera and I'm realizing the camera is changing the purple so it's more bluish in camera than in reality so I will I will keep working on that okay and I'm back for the next step Next step, I'm going to use on top Cheerios Purple and Nagaro Knight. Okay, this one. So we are going to work now on the other side of the cape. Yeah, as we don't one side, it's time to do the. We can also take the advantage to do the also the other side. And it's it's not not accessible neither because we have the tubes and everything on top. So it's a good point to do it, and as well the arms. So let me work on the part that is more visible for you so you can see and then I, I will follow similar techniques on the rest so first I, here I apply first shade of purple as you can see it's, it's much darker here the color okay just let me show you how the so this is how the inside looks like now okay and now I think the part I, I like more I was thinking at the beginning if I wanted to do this cape or this it's more a coat red and I think at the end I'm quite happy with the purple gold combination so just side note okay. so we apply this I have also the Nagaron Knight okay so you need to go darker and as well I like more I like a lot how it combines with with the shadows purple and now we are going to take the silver purple. You can see uh, what the technique I'm going to use is a little bit of white blending, right? So I don't uh, I don't wait that the previous uh, layers have dry. I just come with the next paint and I do it on top of the previous layer. Okay. That way I can. And this is why I do this first because normally this I want to do the cape in case I put in any other detail because on the other days I can go more accurate. And here is I want to go fast. Sometimes I'm, I can be more dirty in the way of painting, right? Putting here some fell color. But you see that you start dragging the paint away. I stop this zone and go to another one. You we'll see here when you have this, we'll put a little bit of genestyl purple, and I will go next. So here we, we start removing the previous layer. So this is a problem when you have that. Okay, when this happens a lot, I will stop in this part. See, you remove almost all the paint, and I will go to this one. I will wait that this way a little bit and then I can come back. Okay, it's too light and now I go with shadows purple. We'll do shadows purple over here, you can see. I'll go to the right here. Okay. I want this the color lila to be very thin. these colors let's do the bottom of the lady coming with a mix of shadows purple and genus silver purple first let's put a little bit of more genus silver purple coming with a brush to load
Jetzt ist hier noch Spannung. I want to keep as well slightly different tonality between the inside of the coat and the outside. Okay, keeping the outside a little bit darker. Now, what I was explaining, we can go back to this part here. We can apply again the silver purple. Now we mix the silver purple with the color lilac. With the problem I touch by mistake. You see, now we are not removing the paint. Lilac. Now we come back with the still purple. the paints are at this moment are very thin. bottom of this lady. Okay, we get that like that. No, I need to put a little bit more of gin still of purple. This may be the most, the one on the top here is maybe the most tricky one. I will with the knife again. Now here at the back, for the feeling it was too less dark. The transition, I'll put a little bit of shadows purple. Now I will put a little bit of genestino purple there. first and now mix with genestin of purple
Okay. And I will do now the other arm and the parts that are hiding of camera. But you can see how the work goes. Okay. The only thing here, I think I will go back now with now that is dry. I will go back with the color lilac. Very thin. We want to add this final highlight with the color lilac. You can see. Okay. So I will do the rest of the purple and I'm back. Okay, this is how it looks like now the coat. You can see we have the light illumination. Now I'm going to use uh, Celestra Grey. Okay. And with Celestra Grey, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do first to do the this type of strings we have here. Quite a difficult access to be fair. Okay, and now I'm going to apply it as well on the white parts. Okay, to help a little bit on the shading. Right there. Then if I see that it's too dark at some point, I will go over. So this is why I want to be almost the darker part. And then the parts that you have, you remember in the first part that I make a mistake and was not, the, the, the red was not well covered. For example here in the fingers, I will apply Celeste Grey now to cover completely the, the red and eliminate the red. I need more to be darker. Here I'm just now eliminating a little bit of the red, but this is still visible. Okay, let's do the other hand. The other hand, I have the same problem. on this hand and I'm back for the next step. Okay. Next step I'm going to use um, white scar. We are going to add some highlights also here. A mistake and we'll correct it. Let it dry first, and then we are going to highlight as well this one.
I know. We are going to do as well the gloves. See, this is too much. If we have that, I'm going to go with the white on top. Something like that. I think this color combination will will give a very nice look so the contrast white it's a great base to start white but you need to highlight it if not, it's not looking uh, really white, it looks greenish. And to be fair, the glove will have a mixture between, will look like between greenish and white. So I will do now. Okay, I just want to put this. I will do now the other glove, and I'm back. So this whole the white is looking like now. Okay, you see it's popping up more. I just had a um, narrow night here where I did the mistake. And now we are going to use more from brown. We are going to highlight the bell and the boots as they are the next are also quite diffi difficult access together with the trousers to be fair so especially the 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 the, the bells here have some I'm going to do this before doing the decoration here this point on this part it's quite difficult to reach okay. and in this case I'm doing more like an edge highlight in the leather you want to give this sensation of Highlight plus a little bit of weathering, right? So let's do here the boots. So on the boots, we're going to. Okay, we have. I have now my dog talking with the neighbor. This is the neighbor's dog. Okay, let's keep working on that. We already have quite a nice color. I think the zigor brown, the zigor brown, they give a very nice base to work. You need just to play with the morphine. 
maybe later on with the second brown to enhance the highlight that it already started with the contour spray. You can see give it quite a nice starting point. Finalize that with more from brown, and I'm back. Okay, next step, uh, I'm going to use uh, a scale, a 75 FC metal, to clean up and to highlight a little bit the, the pistols. Okay, I want them to look uh, silvery, clean, nice. Okay, so I will go back with scale 75. I will keep the canon I like how it looks like with the bluish at the end. Okay, but the one for example I will have, I will clean it up. I will as well do this edge here. I will do the prothesis like. bit of the silver on the rivet of the armor as well on the other the one extra brightness. Just here and there, I will do as well the other pistol now, and I will do this the, the metal on this servo spoons. So I will finish the work on the, this pistol at the servo schools and I'm back. Next, I'm going to use Auric Armor Gold and I will now smooth all the brights we create with the scale 75. And as well do 
some additional highlights and make the gold richer. Servo schools. The pistol. I will We are going to do some more HK light and some parts. I think this will be Then what I'm trying to do is to increase the brightness.
showing that the gold is quite a transparent color. Okay. It is good. I'm going to work now a little bit on the face. So I'm going to use a Rayland flesh shade and I will apply it on the face. This is the color. Same with it one layer before, I went to the second one and then we will start working the helmets. This is too much. We just do a brush. I, and I will apply it again on the gold. Because I have the feeling is a little bit too flat. So we will give a little bit of extra shading as you can see I go very soft and I apply just where I want the shading This is good. I'm going to use no retributor armor. And I will do some of the buttons that we have on the gloves. Other parts and we we have not done before. There we have some bullets on the glove. For the glove, for the bullets, I'm going to use an iron breaker. This is going to be tricky to show in camera because it's really hidden. I'm just touching this bullet with iron breaker. I will now highlight the schools and I will use Ushakti Bone. some mistakes
good. I'm going to do the second highlight on the schools using no race one. Second one. We take a smaller rise to the teeth. I'm going to apply no bright silver on the vision systems of the servo schools. Okay, we can use a storm cost silver for example. Here the drum of the gun is not is too flat. I mean we need to apply I will do okay, this is going to be more tricky. I take black okay we take black now we'll start from here. one of the holes was wrong basically I need to wait at this device and then I will correct it okay while I'm waiting this device we're also applying black here here and I was missing was almost missing the tube so for the tube what I will do is the tubes, I mean the cables or the wires that goes next to the curvy tubes. I will apply a ballot brown, okay?
to paint these wires. As you can see, I'm going to paint them and I'm back. Now, as I said, I need to do the small corrections. I have done all the tubes. Now we'll do a small correction on the pistol. So I apply again silver. Okay, we can snip it with the silver, go back. Okay, this is done. Now I will use blood for the block god to do all the vision systems and lenses. Okay, if you want to make very small lenses and you don't have too much space, just for tabletop. You come with blood for the blood god and you do this. And this. And they will look nice. We also can do the pistols. So I go here. Here you can see now I do the other one, so this is even easier to show in camera. So here if you want to use other color, you also can use The green, the, the technical paints, the green or the. I, I recommend this versus the red if you don't put gold. The other one has to be used on top of gold. So this is why you use blood for the blood gold. So you can see what it looks like. Um, I go back to the black because I realized I forgot the muzzle of the guns. Not, the, not this one, I got this one. I always recommend, in that case the, the, the guns are too small for, for me to drill. So what I will do when it's too small is add the hole in painting in black. Okay, and that's done. Now we can do the trousers and the face. So let's do the face first, I will use cadian face tone. Not too much to do in this face, it's almost covered by the helmet. Okay. 
Well, there is still some work to do. Put now a little bit of Kislev uh, flesh. Bookmark glow. If you want, you can put some makeup or make it purplish, but I prefer to leave it like that at this stage. Okay. Now let's do the trousers. We are going to highlight the trousers with Calga Blue. much bluish to use Fenris and Grey Combining Fenris and Grey with Calder Blue when I say it's too stark. Then I come with Calder Blue. To smooth. To make the 
transition software. Here we are going to play with the Fabrician. Finally, I will take a little bit of very pale pink. I think it's called full green pink if I'm not wrong. Yes, full green green. Full green pink, sorry. We are going to add a little bit on the feathers. And here I will finish the tutorial. So I hope you find this tutorial interesting. Please let me know what do you think in the comments below. Uh, I will apologize if this second part is a little bit too long. But yeah, I wanted to show you in camera the most important parts and as well how I paint this method. So that's all for now. I hope you have enjoyed. Please give a like if you have liked this video. And as usual, thanks a lot for watching and see you later. Bye.